And we gotta, in the words of Buddy Rich, sit down and play some fucking music. Unless, of course, you're standing. One, two, two, two. I probably heard John Bryan several times at uh, the former Largo uh, here in Los Angeles and found out that he also produced all these cool records and started listening to those and finding out more about them. He had been coming to a weekly show that I did for a while because my friend who ran the place said, hey, there's a musician coming here, uh, I think you should hear his stuff. He makes records, it's really good. I'm like, oh, cool. So I was doing two shows one night and I came up to the dressing room just to, uh, to tell off this particular night I happened to go into my friend's office and I said, oh, oh, Great, they're here. Oh, cool. You're going to listen to this. And he immediately put on one of the Art of the Trio records. And, you know, have a towel over my face, and, and it's going along. And suddenly I realized, oh my god, there's somebody playing who has their own ideas. My friend came back in. I was going, this is really good. And he was going, I know it. I was going, no, but you don't understand. I mean, this is really, really exciting. I was trying to tell you. I'm like, yeah, but you don't, this, this is great. And this is, this is what's missing because it doesn't. He's like, I know, I know, but I was trying to, I was. and we we're practically in an argument about who liked it more. We started talking about making a record together, which eventually turned into Largo, um, which came out, I think, uh, 2001. So that was the first time we worked together and then, uh, I think I knew after that that I, I would want to do something with him again. So we got this one little thing yeah, we're gonna grab you. here with Josh. Yeah, little, let's go to any details yeah. you want to get. But I mean, we have all the Which chunks we need. We're covered. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. Totally, I'm absolutely. In the front, my soul is in the was, front better. The I mean. front of this tag was great. Really, they were great, and then you were great. I definitely had John in mind for the start of this uh, project. As soon as I had the idea uh, musically of writing out something for a larger ensemble, something more involved, something more orchestrated. John was the first idea because he seemed like the person who would know how to bring everything together. The whole thing is a little slow, so I'm just hoping if we do this and it feels great that we can weld it, that it's not gonna yeah, sound I like, don't... oh, hey, here's a new tempo. Uh, it's amazing what the mind will do if there's a clear downbeat. Okay. This time around, having done these classical things, of late and these different commissioned pieces he's had to write. You know, this record was a completely different thing where it's like, okay, I know what I learned from doing that last one. This time I have a specific angle. To me, a lot of the fun and challenge is the actual orchestration, assigning the instruments, the notes. I feel driven to do it because I don't have too much experience doing that. It's not my normal thing. This time he's coming in with concept complete um, of something very, very different and an outgrowth of that early experience and these other commissions and this time around it's a it's a whole different piece of business one big challenge and one really fun thing for the record is trying to find out how much to write and not writing too much. You want to leave enough room for the improviser and you don't want to cram them up with too much musical information. It 
was a real no-brainer to have Larry and Jeff on board. Um, you know, the way a lot of this record went is that I was writing things for specific musicians. And any tune with bass I heard Larry on, and some of the tunes uh, with drums I really strongly heard Jeff on. What's great to me about Joss is that he sort of has everything. He has an immediate emotional connection to his playing that I get as a listener for pure pleasure. And he also has a serious um, intelligence to his playing that I really look for a lot. I gave Josh a particular challenge. I gave him these solos when the whole orchestra is playing behind him. And what the orchestra is playing is very involved and uh, dissonant and moving in and out of the harmony a lot. So what Josh has been doing for the last few days as we've been recording is actually um, really hearing it for the first time in his ears um, as it's taking place in the orchestra and, and reacting really um, in the moment to what he's hearing from the orchestra. And it's really uh, amazing to listen to. That's been really fun. I met Matt um, when we uh, recorded together on Largo, the last record that, that John produced. He just has such a great, deep groove to what he plays and a sonic sensitivity to whatever's happening around him in a way of responding uh, very intuitively. It's so exciting to, um, to write something and, and have it in your head and then hear it for the first time being played by these uh, magnificent players here. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's really an emotional experience. You know, it's, it's great. I'm still reeling from it. You know? I just, uh, thank you, everyone. Beautiful playing. Thank you so much. It was really a pleasure. Thank you. The real gig at the end of the day is, can you offer up anything that people aren't going to get otherwise? Um, you know, do you fill a void that's existing out there that without you doing what you do, it would remain a void? And, you know, this guy's been doing that consistently, and the trio does that consistently. Mm -hmm.